Hi, you guys. Welcome to Habit Hack 176. I'm going to get it in very quickly because I am headed off to Angel City Brewery right now uh, to check out Charlie. Where's my co-host? Come on back up. You know, Charlie was, I barely taught him last week Come here. how to jump in the car. He was, you got a hole, you got a bum hole shot in my video, boy. Come on. Be, don't be so rude. Um, he literally just learned how to jump in the car. I used to have to pick this 75 pound mutt up into get, to get in the car, but he barely learned Isn't that funny, Jeff. He just learned how to jump in the car. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why you're such a scary cat. You're a big boy. You shouldn't be so scared. Stay, stay. Hey, you gotta learn how to be a better co-host. All right. So anyway, that's why I have bedazzle makeup on because, um, the event at Angel City Brewery, it is, uh, yeah, they have all kinds of fun things there. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to bedazzle up and go. Um, my buddy Keegan's coming with me, so we're going to check it out just for a couple hours. And then, uh, anyway, I wanted to get this in. If there's anything good, I'll attach it to the end so you guys can kind of see what's going on over there. But it looks like a fun event. It's where I used to live in the Arts District. I love it. So today's Habit Hack, let's straighten this out. I lost my co-host, as usual. Uh, 176, measure your treasure. So we're getting that back to the basics, right? We gotta, you know, I've been on a tiny bit of hiatus and I gotta get you guys back on track. Well, you guys being me, back on track. I have actually been really great on my habits. Um, and I have a pretty good handle on how to create a habit. So these habit hacks are legit. I have been doing regular practice for almost this October will be three years three years I've been practicing um, and studying and learning about different things about how to create habits and how to make them a little bit more successful and so I'm just sharing some of the things that have worked some of the things that don't work some of the things that um, maybe you can consider and hopefully one or two of these things will help you so habit hack 176 measure your treasure so you cannot effectively achieve any goal unless you are measuring it because how do you know you achieved it if you can't if you never measure it? So, um, one of the things that I want you guys to do, if you are trying to create a goal out there, first of all, write down the goal. So, then measure your the goal is your treasure. You need to measure your treasure. So, the things that are important to you, even if um, there are people that have done family goals, you know, just spend more time with their family. There's been uh, stretching goals, just stretch every day. Breathing goals. My um, uh, some of my siblings and I, we practice, uh, and report to each other by measuring, by reporting to each other on, uh, Marco Polo every single day, how much, um, if we did our breathing practice, if we've done how much sleep we've gotten each night, uh, what are, what's the fuel that we've been, uh, fueling ourselves with. So we kind of report that and measure that every single day to each other, which has been highly effective, but you, cannot make a goal you can't get to a goal you can't get to a place in a hike unless you map out your hike like anything you do you can't get there unless you're measuring it now sometimes people are measuring the wrong things right they're trying to um, measure overall health and so then all they do is measure exercise well food or fuel is a huge part of overall health so even if you just are measuring exercise you're gonna have to include sleep fuel, water, um, uh, recovery, all of that stuff. So having the overarching goal and then putting tiny little things to measure to get to that overarching goal. So one of the things that I'm going to say for this one, measure your treasure, write down your goal, then take seven days and write down one thing you can do for five minutes every single day for that seven days. And then, um, write it on a calendar and check it off. Every single day you did that five minutes of thing, check it off. And when you get to day seven, look at your progress, see how much closer you are to your goal. Because honestly, if you didn't write it down and you didn't check it off, you would have never thought about it. You would have been, oh, I really wish I could uh, speak Spanish. And then seven days later, you'd be like, oh, I really wish I could speak Spanish versus I learned 10 words this week. And I am already well on my way of practicing on Duolingo or whatever. Um, so that's it. That's today's goal. Write it down. Pick one thing you can do for five minutes, preferably 15 minutes, but that's a lot. Um, and then put it on your calendar, check it off. And then one of the things that I was going to say is that, 
Um, I, okay, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I, I got a whoop and I also have a garment. And so I measure it twice. So I think this should be tomorrow's goal, but I'm going to just sneak it in. If you're going to measure, make it easy to measure. So one of the things that I've been doing is measuring overall health and fitness and, um, having tracking systems that already measure for you so much better than having to write sing every single thing down. And you can also kind of I'll talk a little bit more about it later, but you can also figure out like when it are the best times that you should be going hard or going easy or taking a recovery day or how much is your sleeping? Uh, you know, we report, I report sleeping, but do I write it down? So this kind of tracks it, both of them. And then the other thing is from yesterday's habit hack, and now I'm just doing other things. I'm going to go. But the other thing from yesterday's habit hack was don't believe the hype. Public opinion is not everything. So the reason why I have two is because I don't want to get zoned in on any one thing. You know, there's variations with all of these tracking systems. So just understand that no one thing is perfect. So listen to your own body also. Um, it's nice to see one or two or three different tracking devices because you're like, well, which one's right? As long as they're both moving up or down in the same you know, direction, then you know they're at least tracking something valid. But yeah, I don't care. I know. They can find me all day long. All right, I gotta go wash my car and then I'm gonna go to Angel City Brewery for a second and then I have to uh, do some work. So I have a busy day today. So I hope you guys have a great day and thanks a lot, Charlie, for messing up my video. He was trying to commentate with his little squeaker. Charlie, come, say bye. Come. Good boy, good boy. All right, Charlie says bye too. Hey, I'm going to bring him to, I'm going to bring him too. I should put sparkles on his face. He can match me. I'm going to go do it right now.